Hi, Chanel here from Tips and Tricks HQ and in this tutorial we'll be taking a look at text link payment buttons. If you're using a plugin you may find the default payment buttons they offer do not fit with the aesthetics or feel of your website and in these cases a text link payment button may work out better. Plugins that come with URL links for products allow you to then use any custom image or text as the payment button for goods or services you intend on selling online. In this tutorial, we'll be taking a look at the Stripe Payments plugin, which allows for text link payment buttons. This free e-commerce software allows even those without developer knowledge to set up payment buttons that when clicked on by customers, displays the easy Stripe pop-up checkout window. While there are many great features of this plugin, the main focus will be creating a custom payment button. I've landed in my WordPress dashboard, where before continuing, we'll need to ensure we have the Stripe Payments plugin installed and activated. You can download this directly from wordpress.org or you can head to our Stripe Payments Plugins website. Once you've installed and activated this plugin, you'll notice a new menu titled Stripe Payments. We'll firstly be focusing on the Products menu. The Products menu is where you'll come to add any tangible or digital products that you wish to sell from your WordPress website. I'll go ahead and I'll click that Add New Product button to create our very first product, but please note we have a more in-depth tutorial on this on our website. From here, I'm just gonna go through and create a very basic product, and then I'll show you how we can add the link URL of this product to either text or an image of our choosing. Now that I've created my product, I'll click the Publish button. My tangible item has been published and it's now that I can copy this link URL. So you can just right click and click Copy to copy that link URL there. Now that we have our link URL copied, if I head to a page or a post where I wanna add a Buy Now button for this, I can simply add that to text or an image. So let's go ahead and let's create a new page. On this page, I might like to sell a variety of t-shirts that I have for sale. I may like to write some stuff about the t-shirts and then I may like to add a custom buy now button here. So if I wanted to add a buy now button to this text, I can simply just highlight that text, click the little link button and paste in that product link URL. Adding that will make that into a link. And when we click that on the front end of the website, you'll see that it leads to that Stripe Payments pop-up window. So the other thing that you can do is you can add that link to an image. For example, if you have a specific Buy Now button on your website that you like to use across the entirety of it, you can add that image in and then you can link that product URL in there. Click apply and that will make that a button rather than just an image. Again, you can just use a simple image and again, you can add that link URL. So now I've basically made a graphical image button, I've made a textual image button and I've had a custom image button put in the bottom here. So now that I've added those three types of custom buttons to my WordPress website using the Stripe Payments plugin, I'll go ahead and I'll publish out this page and we'll take a look what our customers would see from the front end. So from the front end of my website, my customer could land on this page and if they wanted to buy the t-shirt, they could click on one of the buttons. Obviously you wouldn't have these three buttons just laid out like this on the page but I've just added them so you can see the different types of buttons that you could create using the product link URLs. So if they came on and they saw this t-shirt and they really wanted to buy it, they could click that buy now button and that would present them the Stripe payment pop-up window where they can complete the full transaction. They just need to add in their name, email, their billing address for a tangible item and their credit or debit card information followed by clicking the pay button. So there's many times it does make sense 
to create your own custom button opposed to using the default button that comes with a plugin. For example, the default button that comes with the Stripe Payments plugin is a buy now button. It's just a simple little blue buy now button. So while that may work for some pages, such as a shop page, if you're trying to sell your items from a blog or a tutorial type page, it might make sense to just have a little text link in there that your customer can click on when reading. While you can have buy now buttons that link to the Stripe Payments pop-up, if you have the Stripe Payments subscription add-on, you can also use these type of buttons to sell your subscriptions from. So you can use that text link and add it to text or to an image to then sell your subscriptions. So a customer could come on here and click either my text or my graphical image here down the bottom to subscribe to this magazine subscription. So that pretty much sums up this tutorial on how you can use a product link URL to create your very own custom buttons using the Stripe Payments plugin. If you have any further questions or queries, please don't hesitate to contact us.